Hey boys, Clappy here. I've been using YouTube for a large part of my life, and as you can see, it took me many years of contemplation to reach a point where I began to start creating content for myself. I was originally influenced by storytime animators and other commentary YouTubers, but now I create videos that are primarily commentary. Now I'll put my big boy pants on and admit commentary on YouTube can be a toxic community of people. Not all, but a lot of commentary channels are being made that follow similar mistakes. I want to point out that I am not exempt from these critiques, hold your fucking tongue. I am merely pointing out common mistakes made. Hell, a lot of these are completely fine, they're widely used for a reason. But I will point out some of the shit things commentary channels do. Cause while I don't know how to be a good commentary channel, I do know how to be a shit one. So you can go find a good commentary channel to get the proper advice from. But be aware, with the state of YouTube, you may have to make that your life goal. So instead, I will give you a rundown on what you'll want to do to be a stereotypical commentary YouTuber. To begin, we'll want to grab the viewer's attention by opening the video with flashing text displaying some nonsensical promise such as, like this video for your parents to get back together, trust me. You want to change what you promise each video and watch this sweet and well-deserved likes roll in. You will also want to be loud and tell everybody your socials. Also, download a green screen of some mp4 that shows your socials. For gameplay, you'll want to go onto Minecraft Hypixel and play some game like Bed Wars or something. This will be primarily all the visuals in your video. The only editing you'll do is add clips of what you're covering. You may be asking whether this will make your video boring. And you're right. You'll want to let the story you're covering and the promising clickbait you'll put in the title keep people to the end, everything they will draw away from your lack of personality. The topic of the video will be a video every other commentary channel has already made, covering some trending creator and parroting the same things that have already been said. Remember to keep it basic and not provide anything to the argument and instead prolong the problem, which is ironic as the title will say blank needs to be stopped. Everything you say will be unnecessarily rude and one-sided. Bonus points if you throw in some political ideology or a bigoted opinion. That will be the bulk of your content, but something you want to do either at the end or at the beginning of the video is set a sub or a like goal, saying that you're looking to hit X number of subs in X amount of time. But this isn't enough to get you to the top. Hell, you've only posted one video. You want to post as often as possible, enough to saturate the scene with enough content that you're bound to get recognised. The problem is finding a topic. There isn't enough drama for daily videos. Well, when the drama well dries up, Twitter is a great source for finding content. You'll always be able to make another video on dream stands. And yes, I said another because you've already made one for each time they go trending. Occasionally, even this well will dry up. So you'll want to make a video about yourself. Maybe you say you're going to focus on schoolwork, even though you're still going to make a video if a drama comes up. And make sure you title the video with deleting soon in brackets. This is an empty promise of course, the only time you'll delete a video is in 5 years when you private all your videos. So that about does it for videos. But what about outside the videos? Daily uploads aren't going to generate hype fast enough. You need another way around. This is where you will utilize other socials and the community tab. Recently the community tab has been given to users over 500 subscribers, so now smaller channels can spam polls to boost themselves in the algorithm. Make it a bland question like dogs or cats, console of choice, or just pick one that some other commentary YouTuber has already done. That's good, you're doing great so far. And that's about it for all the things I have to passively aggressively insult you for. Personally, I think commentary is necessary. Sometimes I question if a video or channel really does anything interesting or brings anything new to the table. Sometimes I wish a little more was done to improve a problem rather than monetize it. But it's not made to be harmful and there's an audience for it so what's the point in getting upset? I do recommend people looking into the future, thinking about what they want their content to become and doing that. It's cliche, but if you want to impress people, then you know, it's quality over quantity. You can't pick both. You can find a balance you want, but if you want to impress people, then maybe uploading every day or every other day isn't the right thing for you. I have my own goal I'm trying to get to, 
and it requires me to work for money to put into videos for y'all, which is something I'm actively working towards. Anyway, I'll see you losers next time. Good night.